Hey everybody, I'm Johnny Scoble. This is Chase the Heat. Here at Wingfield Park, again, behind me, the Truckee River. Beautiful day here in Reno. Sorry for the late upload. This is your daily Rona relief. Look what I got today from Burns and McCoy, Pain Apple Hot Sauce. Now, I need to talk to you guys a little bit about this sauce. The name may ring a bell. It was a sauce by a company called Hex Peppers, okay, called Pain Apple. I need to tell you a little bit about this. Jay Turner from Burns and McCoy is a friend of mine. Uh, and I asked him, I said, is this similar or the same as Pain Apple? So I want to give you some information about this. Pain Apple, this is the same as Pain Apple from Pex Peppers. With the exception of, there's, a, there's salt in this. There's a variance of honey in pineapple. Um, it's essentially 95% the same. Now, um, if you go back into the old videos, a couple years ago, I did a uh, challenge where I uh, chugged a bottle of pain apple. It's a hot sauce. So that's what we've got today, pain apple. I love the new label. Uh, and I'm, in, I'm looking forward to seeing the difference. Now, I don't have an old bottle of pain apple here, so I really can't compare the two. But I'll do the best I can from memory. <clears throat> so, um, Pain Apple is a cult favorite for a lot of reasons. Uh, for a reason, pa uh, Reaper Peppers and Pain Apple are blended with honey and vinegar to bring a well-balanced, super hot sauce to your plate. Buckle in and enjoy the rush that only Pain Apple can bring. All right, it's a beautiful sauce. You can see some seeds and all kinds of good things happening in there. Uh, let me read you the ingredients here, friends and family. What a gorgeous day. Sorry for the goatee, I'm really gonna have it trimmed up this week. The uh, place that does my trimming is finally open again. Uh, I know I look kind of raggy. All right, Reaper mash, here are the ingredients. Reaper mash, which consists of peppers and salt. That's it. Uh, it's got pan uh, pineapple, vinegar, honey, and salt. Very simplistic uh, recipe. What a beautiful day it is here. All right. We're going to give this a whirl. Now, I'm going to be trying this on the Chase the Heat hot sauce spoon. It's made out of mother of pearl, so it won't change the flavor of your sauce. And you won't believe the difference. There's the consistency. All right, let's do the aroma test. This is a uh, pepper forward sauce. All right? When I say pepper forward, I mean the first blast you get is the unmistakable aroma of Carolina Reapers. I'm just realizing that the uh, camera's on a bit of an angle. It's a drag. Yeah, it's a little bit. I need a new tripod. I really do. All right. So, um, First thing you get, really the only thing you get is the pineapple. I mean, excuse me, the reaper. I'm not getting the honey. I'm really just getting the reap, the Carolina reaper. So really what the honey does is gonna balance out the bitterness from the reapers. But here we go, here's the pour, family. I haven't eaten yet today. All right. It's amazing how, if you watch her old videos, I used to do a aroma test. I used to smell it first off the uh, spoon, off the, out of the bottle. And now it smell off the spoon because there's always a bit of a change. There isn't, that's the spoon causing that. So I don't do that anymore. But anyway, um, here it is guys from Burns and McCoy, my friend Jay Turner. This is Pain App. I'm Johnny Skull. I really am, this is Chase the Heat. I don't know if my tolerance is down, because it may be, but this is hotter than I recall the first one. Maybe that's the difference. This is a hot sauce. 
You get the, the pineapple, the pineapple, the fruitiness from the pineapple, and the honey is, gonna, is, is the sweetness. That's offsetting the bitterness from, if you just had the reapers, it's, there's a lot of bitterness coming from the super hot. So there's zero bitterness, just a, the heat is immediate. I mean, absolute immediate. being really honest as far as the flavor profile I can't detect a difference now to be honest you know if I had an original bottle of pineapple here from Pex Peppers and then this bottle it would be better to do a, a apples to apples test I'm doing this from memory so to me the flavors the flavor profile hasn't changed the difference that I detect and again it could be me this seems hotter let me tell you something for a non chili if you do not eat anything hot this is a problem sauce for you this is more than a 10. Yeah, man, if you've never eaten anything hot, this would blow your lid off. This would get your attention in like a big way. The burn is on my, um, a little bit on the middle of my tongue. But you guys remember where Carolina Reapers and Seven Pot Primos tend to burn you? Not so much here or here, but right in here. Right in, it gets you in the throat. So it's attacking my throat right now. It's a beautiful burn. Um, for a chili hen, if you chase the heat, this is still going to be like a 7 or an 8. Probably an 8. This is a solid 8 for a, not, for a chili hen. I mean, if you're going after this is going to be an 8. This is a hot, hot sauce, but really delicious. Um, <laughs> this would be great on wings. You could baste chicken breast with this and grill them. Great on tacos. It's only limited to what your imagination is, but no joke, people, this is a hot sauce. The heat's still burning. It's, it's kind of subsiding now. But I'm telling you, if you're not used to heat, that's a ride. That's going to get your attention. You'll, you'll talk about that sauce for a whole lot. Love it. What a beautiful day to have a good burn. It really is. All right, guys, so listen, if you've never tried any sauces from Burns and McCoy, if you've watched the channel for a while, you know that for since the existence of the channel, they've been one of my favorite hot sauce companies. So if you've never tried Burns of McCoy, they have some new sauces they've just come up with. Their Scotch bonnet, um, some their sriracha, some beautiful new sauces that are just devastatingly good. One of my favorite sauces ever is Exoresco, and the one of the only two sauces I'll ever put on a steak uh, is Demaranda. Really just delicious sauces. So if you've never tried any sauces from Burns of McCoy, now is the time. What I urge you to do is go to the comment section below, or the description box, click the link, go to their website and check them out. Amazing sauces. Can't go wrong. I've never had a bad sauce from them. Now, um, if you have tried their sauces, because a lot of you have, go to the comment section, throw a comment in there, and let me know what you think. Uh, if I'm spot on with the flavor profile, if the heat, the heat level, let me know your thoughts. You guys are an amazing crew. Now, I don't tell you enough. I should say it on every single video because if you're watching this for the first time, you don't know how much I appreciate you guys. There are followers for every channel. There are 41,300,000 YouTube channels. There is no crew, no family like the Sculpa Squad. You guys are amazing, and this you guys are what makes this thing happen. I told the story a few times. I just want to share it again because this may be the first time you've ever seen a video. The like four or five days after the very first video I ever uploaded, I was all excited about having a video online. I couldn't believe I was seeing myself on the video. It was really cool. Somebody made a comment and said, I'm your biggest fan. I said, what? I had to read it two or three times. In that second, when I read that, in that second, the channel stopped becoming about me and it became about you. And that's really the truth of it. Um, so I want to thank you guys for this. This is your bus. I'm just driving it. So thank you for making this what it is because this is your channel. So there. If this is the first time you've seen this, I love you, man. I appreciate you watching. Um, if you've never subscribed to this channel before, but you've been watching it, you like it, you think it's kind of cool, um, you may not think it matters. I don't get paid off of uh, subscribers. That doesn't make any difference as far as monetary concerns. It makes a difference for me here. It lets me know that we're growing and we're doing things the right way. So if you've never become a, a part of the Scoble Squad. We don't have subs here. Subs reminds me of the word subordinate, and there's nobody subordinate here. So 
um, to become a part of the family, click that pepper right there, become part of the Scoba Squad. If you don't want to miss a video, click notifications for all. Get everything, live streams, everything. Right there is Legal Fire. They're sort of like the WWE of the Chili World and years from now, there are gonna be people that say, oh, I was there since the beginning. Be a part of Legal Fire, follow them. Two relevant videos right there. A dog just went in the water and shook right there and got me wet, I love it. Anyway, two relevant videos right there. I love you. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.